Hey guys, it's Sanem, or welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. So today I'm going to be doing another video testing out the makeup products that I bought from my haul. So if you guys haven't seen my hauls, I did a huge Ulta Beauty haul and a huge Sephora haul as well. And I'm basically going to be testing out some of the makeup products that I got from those hauls and putting them to the test and creating a look. So I hope you guys enjoy it and without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. So I have... A bunch of makeup that I bought recently. I'm sure you guys have seen my hauls by now, my Sephora haul and my Ulta Beauty haul. Um, and I'm going to be testing out some more makeup that I did not get to try in my last testing makeup video. So I do have more of the stuff that I got from Ulta and I'm going to be testing them out. So I do know that I really want to play with this palette today, which is from Colourpop, the Nude Mood Eyeshadow Palette. And then I do want to play around with this as well, the NYX Glow Shot Brightening Liquid Shadow. So I think I'm going to do like a beautiful just pink golden eye or something like that because that's kind of like the theme with these two and we're just going to be testing out a bunch of makeup so let's just jump straight into it the first product that i know i want to test on my face is going to be this maybelline instant age rewind perfector four in one glow makeup this one is in the shade fair light and this is supposed to be like a dupe to the charlotte tilbury um hollywood flawless filter one of those kind of like glowy radiant tinted products so i am just going to put this on it comes with like a cushion thing i literally twisted it like 20 times okay here we go oh Girl, how is this fair slash light? Oh, no way. Why is it so dark? I know it can be covered with foundation, but that is going to leave an obvious line still. I'm going to blend that out with my fingers. Oh, it does feel really nice. It feels super light. It looks beautiful and like really nice and glowy. Obviously gives a little bit of a tint as well. This would be nice if I was tan, like um, if my face was a little bit bronzed or like if I just wanted to use this on my face at the beach or something like that. Because it does provide me with like a little bit of like a bronze glow. Actually, actually, Blending it out into the skin gave me like a beautiful, beautiful almost bronze where it actually doesn't look that bad now that I've blended it into the skin. What do you guys think? Like, does it look obvious that it's dark for me? Or does it almost look like it's just bronzed me up in a really subtle glowy way? And like given me a little bit of just a boost. Oh my god, I actually really love that. Wow. Okay. I'm really, really impressed. I did not expect that. And it feels really moisturizing and glowy and lightweight. I definitely really, really, really like how it looks on the skin. I'm just gonna do a little bit of concealer and then I'll be back to do a powder foundation from one size. For my foundation, I'm gonna be trying out the one size turn up the base versatile powder foundation this is in fair free n which stands for neutral i think this is too light for me but i have heard amazing things about this powder foundation apparently it's super full coverage and blurring so i am very excited to test it out i am just gonna go straight in this is the shade for those of you who are wondering and it does look quite light but let's just see i don't know if it's going to oxidize Oh, it's actually a really good shade. Oh, wow. Okay, that looks really nice and smooth. I don't think it gave too much coverage, though. Let's see, look. It's not really giving any coverage. It's more like just a setting powder to me. I don't know if it's the brush, but I always use brushes like this for powder foundations, and I actually get more coverage. I've been using my e.l.f. Camo powder foundation, and I use this brush for it as well. Okay, this shade is fine. Love the shade. I wouldn't change it. And my skin looks really smooth, like really smooth, and it doesn't look powdery, doesn't look dry. But honestly, it barely gave me coverage. Like, I feel like my skin is just still peeking through. There's still like redness, blemishes. Okay, I'm really disappointed. 
I honestly was expecting more like I just I was expecting it to give me the wow factor and honestly whilst it really did like set my skin and provide with a little bit of coverage I honestly thought it was going to be a lot more like creamy and really full coverage it definitely has the the smoothing like finish and it looks beautiful on the skin and this on top of a liquid foundation would be amazing but on its own as a powder foundation I don't think so I don't think I would wear it like that um, and also I think I like the Makeup Forever one which I tried in my other video a little bit better so a little bit disappointed I honestly expected more for blush I am going to be testing out a Sephora blush that I picked up this one is so hyped it is all over TikTok or was and this is the Sephora blush in Over the Moon which is supposed to be like a really lavender lilac blush very very cool tone um i don't know if it's gonna go with the eye makeup but i really 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 want to test it out so i love the sephora blushes already and now i have this shade so let's just see oh yeah she's bright if it's gonna really look like lavender or is it just gonna look pink and i like that it's very light as well it's not super pigmented so you can just buff it out nicely you know it's really subtle so I actually do like that. I honestly was thinking like maybe it's going to be crazy, crazy stark. But it's actually, you can still see there's a little bit of like a purple tinge to it. But it's still wearable, very subtle. Wow, I actually really like this shade. I did think it was going to be a little more purpley. You can see like it looks quite, like it looks quite different. You can still see the purple but it is really nice. It's very light. And it just looks super pretty. So yeah, almost has a little bit of like a sheen. Actually, you can even see that as well. It almost has a slight little sheen. And I do like that you can keep on building it if you need to. And then for highlighter. So this one, I can't wait to try it. It might be a bit too dark for me, but this is the REM Beauty by Ariana Grande um, Interstellar Highlighter Topper in the shade Miss Satin. I... If you guys don't know, I work for REM Beauty. So I did recently get a job there, only part-time because I do YouTube as well. Um, and I was just like, you know what? I really want to go back to working like for a makeup company. And REM opened up in the UK in Selfridges. So if you guys want to come and say hi whilst I'm working, you can. And so, yeah, I wanted to um, apply for it and I got the job. So I work for REM Beauty. So I'm, you know, working with REM every single time I'm in. I'm very familiar with all the products and I absolutely love the products. So Miss Satin is the shade I haven't tried yet. We did get gifted this um, when I started working there. Um, and it's like a beautiful, almost, it, it's like a pink peach, but it is a little bit deep. So this would be perfect for like a medium skin tone because it look, I mean, unless it's going to look different on the skin, but it is quite a dark highlight for fair skin tones. So let's just see. Oh, actually, yeah, it's got slight little colour to it, but you can make it work. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful product. Oh my God, look at that. I love, love, love REM products. The highlighters are super smooth. They just look like they melt into the skin. It looks like a glow. Like it honestly doesn't even look like there's any sparkle or you know anything like that like other highlighters do like look at that it just looks like a beautiful glow can you guys see that oh it's almost like a little bit of a like a yeah a pinky golden highlight it would be perfect with the eyes that i'm gonna do but um wow i actually really like that shade that might be my new favorite it's almost like the it's <laughs> it's gonna sound really weird but it's almost like a skin tone highlighter kind of color does that make sense like it's at least on me i feel like because other highlighters that i have are a little bit brighter like for example let me show you miss mercury which i have right here it's a bit lighter and then miss venus i wore the other day for work and it was like a white gold so you can see like these are a little more obvious whereas this one is just like more i don't know it just blends into the skin a bit better because it's just almost like the color of your skin but with a glow i really like that so next, I'm going to move on into eyes. Let's go ahead and do the ColourPop Nude Mood Eyeshadow Palette. This came out like ages ago, years ago. But I am the last one to buy it. Beautiful packaging. And honestly, I said 
on my TikTok, this reminds me of like a palette you would wear on your wedding day or if you are attending a wedding. It just has those like beautiful bridal like tones. I just feel like it's such a wedding palette and it's affordable. So I'm going to go ahead with the shade Bare to Wear and just put that in the crease. No primer needed and I, I mean, I'm very familiar with Colourpop shadows. Obviously they're great quality anyway, but I really want to see if I'm going to like this palette to use like for every day. Yeah, really nice and smooth so far. I'm going to switch brushes and I'm going to go into the shade Or Natural. And I like that these are just very neutral, you know. They're not very cool toned, they're not very warm toned. It's just like a really nice neutral palette. And with the mix of mattes and shimmers. Next, I'm going to take this shade Moody, which is a deep matte brown. And I'm just going to apply that right on the outside. And then I'm going to go in with that NYX liquid shadow. And then I'll come back to the palette after. So this is just going on my outer corner to smoke everything, make it a little bit more deeper. Add a bit of uh, depth. And you can make this your wing as well. I already plan to go back to New York in November again. I know I'm such a crazy person, but I literally cannot wait to go back to Old Town Sephora again because I have found some new favorites from my haul that I really want to stock up on, um, like stock up on loads because then I don't know when the next time I will go is, is. So I rather just go in November, have some fun, go on holiday again, but also stock up on those makeup favorites. Beautiful. So now I am going to go into this new NYX Glow Shot Brightening Liquid Eyeshadow. So this is new from them. They have a ton of shades, but I um, found this in Target and I didn't see many shades left. So I did end up getting this one, which is a beautiful like rose golden pink and it's in the shade Grapefruit Glow. So let's go ahead and see. Ooh. Oh, it's very sheer. It's like a, let me put the brightness down. It's very sheer, but it's just a beautiful like golden pink liquid shimmer. It does have a funny smell like paint, like very almost chemically. Oh, it's already dried down on my hand. Like it's not budging. So that's a good sign. And I can definitely feel, yeah, as I'm packing this on, it is drying quick, baby, like really quick. So it's a good and a bad sign when it dries too quickly it's very hard to work with but if it dries too quickly it means it's not going to budge and that is beautiful it's almost like a, just a metallic foil there's barely actually any glitter it's more of like just a sheen on the eyes so this is not a liquid glitter this is a liquid like shimmer or a foil metallic kind of product and I yeah I'm not there's no glitter in there so you don't have to worry about that but this is absolutely beautiful oh my god this for a wedding I'm going to a wedding next year so this I would honestly rock on the eyes like I would do this whole makeup with a beautiful pink lip that is so pretty let me know what you guys think that is so pretty it is just the most perfect like glowy metallic liquid eyeshadow golden like pink without it being a glitter like a liquid glitter like a lot of brands do they always add glitter in these types of products whereas this is just like i don't know if you can see there's no glitter it's just a beautiful wet sheen that is so pretty and oh my god it's gonna get even better so i'm gonna put the shade wink wink on top which is exactly exactly the same shade but in like a eyeshadow form from Colourpop. So I'm going to use my finger. Oh my god, exactly the same shade, just to intensify that. Oh yeah, these two, these two are my new favourites. Oh yeah. It's basically just going to set that liquid eyeshadow even more, intensify it, 
and it is exactly the same shade. You guys need this combination. Like if you love these sorts of shades, go out and buy this combo. This is gonna be my go-to palette. This shade, Wink Wink, is amazing. I will have to try this golden one and then maybe this bronze in another video, but I really, really am impressed more so with this NYX Glow Shots product. So I completely forgot that I wanted to try the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder in light pink, which we don't have in the UK. Um, we only have light medium and deep or some, something like that. I know we don't have the light pink, so I did get it obviously whilst I was in America and I thought, you know what? Uh, everyone's been loving the light pink trend underneath the eyes, so I thought, let me try it with the Halo Glow Powder in light pink because I absolutely love the Halo Glow Powder. It's one of my holy grail under eye loose powders because it just provides you, how do I? Just provides you with the most like subtle sheen underneath the eyes. I'm so excited. So it's definitely a really nice light pink. A brush like this, because I already did my makeup and I forgot to put this on. So let's just load it up and see if it's gonna brighten, what it's gonna do. I have a feeling this is gonna make me look amazing. What do you guys think? Did it do much? I think I'll have to like use this properly with a sponge and just really pack it underneath. But I'm not really getting the light pink, but I am getting a nice brightened glowy under eye, which I'm loving. Um, actually, in a way, I probably prefer that rather than it being pink. So it's it's beautiful. It's just giving me like a a beautiful glow with a little bit of a brightening effect underneath the eyes. Yeah, I really like that. Oh my god, you could even use it as like a really subtle highlight. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. And for lips, finally, I'm going to be testing out the Makeup by Mario Cozy Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Cream in the shade Pinky Brown, which looks like this. And I cannot wait to test it out. It is a beautiful like mauve pink shade. And that's what it looks like. Feels so moussey and creamy. A little bit thick as well. Oh yeah. Wow. I mean, it just hugs the lips. It's kind of like a your lip but better. Wow. I really like that. It feels very thick on the lips. It's not thick where it's like dried down and it feels uncomfortable. It's not like that. It's just a very, very thick like cream formula it's almost like you're putting on i don't know it's just a really unique thick creamy formula a beautiful color i don't know if it necessarily goes with the eye makeup because now this is looking too warm against the lips and the blush but it is very 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 pretty so that is the shade if we cover the eyes that is the shade pinky brown Nice and full, very comfortable. I can definitely see that this would last long as well. It just feels very creamy and luxe, but not creamy in a way where it's gonna slip and slide. It doesn't feel slippery. It almost just, like it's it's gone into the lips, like it's just sunken into the lips. It's just hugged the lips. And that's definitely not gonna budge. I tested out most that I could in this video. And again, I have a bunch of other makeup products that I haven't even tested yet from my Sephora and my Ulta haul. So again, I will test them out in more upcoming videos like this. So I already did one like this, if you guys haven't seen it. It's testing my Sephora haul, uh, which, how, um, which is on my channel. And then now we have the one testing most of like the stuff that I got from Ulta. So again, I will be filming more like this because I still have in this bag, Still a bunch of other makeup products that I need to test out. I'm gonna choose three things for you guys to take away from this video. Everyone needs at least the NYX Glow Shots, whether it's this shade or another shade. I absolutely love, love, love this product. It went on really nice. The Maybelline 4-in-1 Glow honestly surprised me because now you can't even see that it's dark. I think this, like especially on fair skin, will bronze you up in the most natural way possible and give you a glow but a little bit of tint as well and just make your skin look like unreal um and then i think lastly i would say the elf halo glow powder in light pink because it just gives you a beautiful brightening glowy under eye and i think everyone 
can do with that like everyone needs that so let me know what you guys think leave me all your thoughts down below give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it comment down below i hope everyone is staying safe and until next time i'll speak to you guys all in my next video